Hello class! Welcome to my channel. So this video is just a continuation ng ating previous video about the chain rule. Okay? So let's have example number 1. Find the derivative of y equals 2x plus 1 all over 3x minus 1. Then raise to 4. So as you can see, yung given function natin is a composite function. Ang outer function natin is yung naka raise to 4. Then, ang ating inner function is yung quotient of 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 1. So, meaning, masasolve lang natin yung derivative ng ating y function by using the chain rule. Okay? So, apply natin yung chain rule. So, y prime equals the derivative of our outer function, yung naka-raise to 4. So, multiply lang natin yan then. So, we have 4 times copy yung inner function which is 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 1 raise to yung 4 ima minus 1 natin so magiging 3 na lang okay then it chain natin yung derivative ng ating inner function so times so kung as, as you can see yung ating inner function is hindi siya madaling kunin yung derivative Dahil naka-quotient yan. So, para makuha natin yung derivative yan, i-separate muna natin from doon sa ating original solution. Example, ito yung ating inner function. We have 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 1. So, kung mapansin nyo, meron tayong f of x over g of x. So, itong function na to, Para masolve natin yung kanyang derivative, gagamitan natin guys ng quotient rule. Okay? So, kung memorize nyo pa yung formula ng quotient rule, ang formula ng ating quotient rule is y prime equals g of x times f prime of x minus f of x times g prime of x all over g of x, then squared. Okay? So, ang ating f of x dito is equals to 2x plus 1. So, ang ating f prime of x is equals to 2. Then, ang ating naman g of x is equals to 3x minus 1. Then, ang ating g prime of x is equals to 3. Okay, so pwede na natin i-apply yung quotient rule natin. So, y prime equals g of x which is 3x minus 1 times yung f prime of x which is 2 minus f of x, 2x plus 1 times g prime of x which is 3. All over g of x that is 3x minus 1 then squared. Okay? So, simplify natin yung ating fraction. We have y prime. So, distribute. That is 6x minus 2. Then, distribute natin yung 3. Meron din ay ditong 3 times 2x. That is 6x times yung negative din sa outside. That is negative 6x. Then, 3 times 1. 3 times negative. That's negative 3. All over 3x minus 1 squared. So, combining like terms, ang derivative ng ating inner function ay, so, makakancel to negative 2 minus 3, that's negative 5, all over 3x minus 1 squared. So, ito yung derivative ng ating inner function na gagamitin natin para masolve yung ating composite function. So, dito natin siya ngayon isa substitute. Okay? So, lagay natin na yun dito. I-chain na natin ngayon. So, we have negative 5 all over 3x minus 1 squared. Okay? So, simplify na natin ngayon yung ating derivative. So, that is y prime equals 4. So, as you can see, same yung ating denominator. So, meaning pwede siyang i-combine doon sa denominator dito sa may 
second expression natin. So, para magawa yun, paghiwalayin muna natin yung fraction. So, that is 2x plus 1 cube. Okay? Then, times negative 5 all over 3x minus 1 cube. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo, pinaghiwalayin natin yung 2x plus 1 over 3x minus 1. Then, parehas sila naka to 3. Then, we have 3x minus 1 squared. Okay? So, simplify natin. So, that is 4 times negative 5. That's negative 20 times 2x plus 1 cube all over 3x minus 1. Then, dito, uh, applying the product rule ng, ng ating loss of exponent. 3 plus 2, that is 5. So, this will be our final answer. Okay? So, let's have example number 2. Y equals the quantity of 2x plus 1 cube times 3x minus 2 raised to 4. So, as you can see, yung given natin dito is composed of two functions. Meron tayong f of x and g of x. So, since under siya ng multiplication, so para masolve itong ating function, para makuha natin yung derivative, ang gagamitin natin is yung product rule. So, ang formula natin ng product rule is f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. Okay? So, try natin. So, ang f of x natin dito is equals to 2x plus 1 cube. Then, ang ating g of x is equals to 3x minus 2 raised to 4. So, as you can see, yung ating f of x and g of x ay parehas composite functions. Meron tayong outer functions na naka-cube. Then, meron tayong inner function na 2x plus 1. So, meaning to say, Para makuha natin si f prime of x, ang i-apply natin dito guys is yung ating chain rule. Okay? So, apply natin si chain rule. So, multiply natin yung exponent dun. That is 3 times 2x plus 1. Then, 3 minus 1 magiging square na lang to. Times, so, i-chain natin yung derivative ng binomial sa loob which is 2x plus 1. So, ang derivative niyan is 2. Okay? So, simplify natin si f prime of x. So, that is 6 times 2x plus 1 squared. Okay? So, next, kunin naman natin si g prime of x. So, as you can see, si g of x natin is also a composite function. Ang ating outer function is naka to 4. Then, ang ating inner function is binomial, which is 3x minus 2. So, applying the chain rule. So, by power formula, mumultiply natin to doon. We have 4 times 3x minus 2. Then, 4 minus 1, that is cube. Times, so, i-chain natin yung derivative ng ating inner function, which is 3x minus 2. So, ang derivative niyan ay 3. Okay, so simplify. So, g prime of x is equals to 12 times 3x minus 2 cubed. Okay, so after yan, we can now get the derivative ng ating original function. So, y prime is equals to, so dito ang gagamitin natin is itong ating product rule. So, f of x, that is, 2x plus 1 cube times g prime of x which is 12 times 3x minus 2 cube plus g of x which is 3x minus 2 raised to 4 times f prime of x which is 6 times 2x plus 1 squared. So, next, simplify na natin yung ating derivatives. 
So commonly guys, sa pag-simplify nito, ang gagamitin natin dito is yung factoring. So if factor out natin yung mga common terms dun sa ating um, equation. So kung makapansin nyo, ang common dito is yung 2x plus 1 and 2x plus 1 dun sa kabila. And yung 3x minus 2, tsaka 3x minus 2 dito sa may kabila. Okay, so pagka magpa-factor tayo ng polynomial, so let's say dito yung binomials, ang ipa-factor out natin is yung kanilang may lowest exponent. Okay, example, 2x plus 1. So ang common, ang lowest exponent nito, 2x plus 1 is yung square. So ito yung ating ipa-factor out. Then kay 3x minus 2 naman, ang ipa-factor out natin is yung cube since ito yung kanyang lowest exponent. Okay? Then, si 12 and 6 naman, iiwan na lang natin siya sa loob. Pero dun sa iba, pwede naman siyang i-factor. Pero sa example ko na to, iiwan ko na lang siya dun sa atin. Okay? So, pag factor out natin si 2x plus 1 squared and 3x minus 2 cubed, ano ngayon yung may iiwan sa loob? So, ang gagawin nyo lang, ibabawas natin yung mga nilabas natin. So, sa 2x plus 1 cube, since nag-factor out tayo ng dalawa, yung 3 dyan, mawabawasan ng dalawa. So, ang may iiwan is isa na lang, which is 2x plus 1. Okay? Times 12. Next, kay 3x minus 2 cube, since tatlo yung nilabas natin, or yung factor out natin, so si cube dito, mawawala na lang. Okay? Or magiging 1 na lang siya. So, dito... So, skip na natin yan. So, plus. Next, 3x minus 2. So, since ito ay naka-raise to 4, then, then naglabas tayo ng tatlo. So, may may iwan pang isa. So, that is 3x minus 2 times 6. Then, kay 2x plus 1 naman, since squared lang yan, tapos naglabas tayo ng squared. So, mawawala na rin yan. Okay? So, pwede na natin isimplify yung nasa loob ng ating bracket. So, y prime equals 2x plus 1 squared, 3x minus 2 cubed, times, so dito, distribute na natin to, that is 24x plus 12, then yung 6, distribute natin sa binomial, that is 18x minus 12. Okay, next is combining like terms. So, y prime equals 2x plus 1 squared, then 3x minus 2 cubed. So, combine na natin yung mga like terms. You have 24 plus 18. So, we have 42x. Then, 12 minus 12, that is 0. So, i-arrange lang natin yung ating final answer. So, ang ating final answer is 42x times 2x plus 1 squared times 3x minus 2 cubed. So, ito na yung ating final answer. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye!